everybody. It's Chef Marty. It's Thursday. We're going to talk about some food. Um, hope you all had a good 4th of July. Uh, I know I did. Very relaxing. Great weather. Now we're back to the grind. Um, it's summer, in case you hadn't noticed. And uh, I wanted to talk about some, some of this great harvest that I get from my local farmers. I'm going to make a dish out of a couple of different products that I just got in last week. Um, in case you didn't know, we're at Bow Edison lovely downtown Bow, Washington, and um, this is Marty Makes. Okay, so um, summer, we do get a lot of squash, uh, summer squash, not the hard, thick-shelled, wintery kind, but um, stuff like this. This is uh, the yellow and green striped summer squash that I'm getting from Chef, or Farmer Eric at uh, Well-Fed Farm here in Bow. He's about four miles away from here. Not only does he bring me these lovely squash during the summer, but he also provides me with radishes and kale, and all year round I get my lovely chickens from him that I turn into fried chicken, and our chicken livers as well. So he does he does some wonderful things for me. Get my pan too hot here. Um, so these are from him, and I want to get these going right away because they do take a little while to cook. I'm gonna I've got them sliced here. Toss it, a little olive oil, salt, pepper, and a pinch of red chili flake. So I'm going to pop that right in there. Um, I, think it's, I think zucchini is a great vegetable. Sometimes it can be a little bland. Sometimes if you, if you just saute it all the time, it just gets a little boring. It gets a little flabby. Um, so what, what I'm really trying to do with this dish is that pan has to be smoking hot when the zucchini, I don't want to call it zucchini, I'm going to call it summer squash. When the summer squash goes in, because then we're going to get some caramelization. It's going to, it's going to make that color, which as you know, as I always say, color equals flavor. Um, you want some nice sear on there. I'm going to reach right between you guys and grab a tong. Woohoo! That's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get close to the pan. <laughs> to turn that heat up a little bit. You want that sizzle, you want that smoking hot in there. No color yet, so I'm gonna do a, a little more talking to fill the space in between. So, I haven't described the dish, all I have is, all I've said is I'm doing summer squash. So, what are we doing with it? Summer squash, pan fried, and I'm doing a, um, a garlic and lemon ricotta cheese. I'm taking regular old ricotta cheese, Put in a bowl, mixed in some chopped garlic, some lemon zest, a little splash of lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then a really healthy dose of extra virgin olive oil. Mix that all up till it's nice and smooth. It's a really nice complement to uh, a fairly um, mild flavored vegetable. So we've got that going on. Get that little shake. Check it really quick. See some color happening. Oh, look at that. That is flavor, my friends. Oh, look at that one. Delicious. If, you, if, your, if your heat wasn't high enough, you'd be cooking the zucchini, but you would not be caramelizing it. Caramelizing, the process of caramelization is called the Maillard reaction, and it requires a minimum temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for that to happen, for it to take those proteins and turn them another color. So um, keep that in mind. You're not getting color when you're trying to saute something, it means your temperature's not hot. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is, uh, ooh, that's a great color. I'm getting color happy here, guys. Oh, yeah. Of course, you do know what too much color equals. Too much color equals burnt, right? Okay. I just want, I don't want you to go too crazy on the color. Alright. Okay, let's bring that down just a pitch. And let's talk about the other elements of the dish. So we got the, we've got the summer squash, we've got the ricotta cheese and garlic and lemon. And then we're going to add just some more touches of flavor and texture by um, adding some fresh basil. This is being grown about a stone's throw from here by Chef Arnold. Oh, Why everybody chef today? by um, <coughs> the far Linda and Walter who run Blanchard Mountain Farm. They're growing this for me. 
beautiful summer basil. <coughs> all smoky in here. And what we're going to do with the basil is, it's one of my favorite things about summer is fresh basil. So we're going to do what's called a chiffonade. It's a, that's a fancy term for how you cut something. It's one of those culinary terms. Chiffonade means to cut, uh, cut an herb into long strips so you can sprinkle it over top of something. Basil is, a, is an herb that doesn't take too well to mincing because it just it's so moist that it just kind of gets mushed and it starts to blacken. So you want to do something that's really, really quick to get it so you can have a little bit in every bite. And that's, chiffonade is the best approach for basil. It also works very well with mint. So what you do is you stack a couple of leaves, depending on how much you need, roll them up like how you roll something. <laughs> and then we're going to do a really quick uh, cross cut, 90 degrees to the roll. Cut an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch thick. You don't want it to be too thick because that's a big flavor bomb in your mouth. You want the ability to get a little bit in every bite. So if you see on the cutting board there, it's a bunch of little strips of basil. Kind of elegant, kind of fun just a little bit nicer than trying to, to mince it up. Okay, so there's that. We've got the basil, we've got the ricotta. Our squash is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate that. That pan's a little warm. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pop these on the plate. In the old way. Then that would be pretty. Fed Farm Summer Squash with garlic and lemon ricotta. We are running this as a special for the next few days. As long as I'm getting these squash, I'm going to be doing this with them. So come on in for yours. And um, we've also still got meatloaf. I've, I've decided to keep that around for a couple of weeks this summer. So come and get yours. Bo Edison, fine food and drink. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you soon.